Hi, I'm Jeannie from Extreme Exteriors. As an expert installer of exterior products for the entire home envelope, we received hundreds of calls this winter for roof maintenance and the clearing of snow and ice dams. Although you may now be familiar with how an ice dam forms, we continue to receive many calls asking us, how is it possible that my roof leaks? And how can water penetrate through my roofing materials? Is my roof in need of replacement? Or, although my roof is like new and contains the correct amount of ice and water barrier along the eaves per our state's code, my roof still allowed water intrusion. If you've been asking these similar questions, this video demonstration will show you firsthand how this is possible. Now let me introduce you to Jeff. He is knowledgeable in today's common installation techniques and materials and will illustrate why you should consult with a qualified contractor who specializes in the installation of exterior products solely. Hi, thanks Jeannie. I'm Jeff Stigler with Extreme Exteriors. I've been a quality installer of exterior products for over 20 years. The purpose of this demonstration is to show why roofs, new and old, leak even when they have ice and water shield products installed along all the eaves in the valley areas. Jeff, can you show us an example of one of the most commonly used types of ice and water shield that would pass our state code? Yes, here's an example of a product that comes in a roll form and it's got a peel off backer on it. The purpose of this product was to seal around nails when they are driven through the shingle and through this base product to prevent uh, leaking around the eaves on houses. So that's what ice and water was originally intended for? Yes it was. And can you show us an example of a higher end more expensive ice and water shield that's less commonly used by contractors? Yes, this is a product that we like to use in problem areas along eaves, valleys, skylights, walls that does a better job of sealing around nails but we have found through our experience that it all depends on the type of nails you use on these products because even if you use the highest end product you still will have problems if nailed incorrectly. Can you uh, maybe show us an example of, uh, I know t in today's uh, technology installers will typically use a type of coil nail that's actually shot through a gun. Can you show us those nails? Yes, I have a coil of it right here and this is installed into an air gun that uh, makes it a lot faster and more efficient to put roofs on. The problem is, and uh, I'm going to show you a close-up here, is that these coils, once they're driven, they fly off this coil with these little barbs on them. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see if I can zoom in. Is So the, the, the nails themselves are attached together in the, the coil form here and that's how they're held together is by that metal barb? Yeah, there's two metal barbs that run across here that attach one nail to the other and when they're in the gun a piston drives down and pounds this nail into the shingle and through the ice and water and this is what they look like when they come out. I don't know if it helps if I hold it against my shirt here but you can see the little wings on it and even if you use this product it will rip each side of the ice and water shield causing even a brand new roof to leak. So the, the, uh, the biggest problem is the nails with the barbs and the way that they are installed using these pneumatic nailers um, actually will rip the material as you're doing the installation of the roof. Correct. Back in the old days we used to install just handheld nails these handheld nails do not have a barb on each side of them and they have a smooth shaft so when it's driven through the shingle and into the ice and water shield that it actually seals around the nail and I can show you with a little demonstration here of taking a typical 
piece of ISO water that meets building code and I can push this nail with the barbs through it like a gun would shoot it out. There we go. And I'm going to put some water on that as to act as melting snowfall. Let's see if I can get a... Maybe you want to come in here and get a closer look at this. And then I will take this higher and nice and water shield with a hand nail pushed through it like a gun would do. I'll push it through here and I will add some melting snow onto this onto this higher end product and then I will also show that a gun coil nail driven through a high end ice and water shield and what the result of that will be. What we're trying to show here is that even if you use the most expensive products, the way in which you install them could void any things that you try to do to prevent water intrusion in your home. So I don't know. Maybe I can get down here and zoom in now. When you install these products, I mean, typically they're not installed with nails, is that correct? Correct. We use a felt staple product on them to attach it to the plywood. And basically, you put a minimum amount of them on there to keep them from sliding off the roof. Now, once the uh, product is applied, what you're saying is when you actually go to install the shingles is when the nails would penetrate through that product. Correct. I'm just not showing the nails going through a shingle right now. Oh, but there, that one on the right starting to leak. The one with the... Uh, this is the typical ice and water shield that just meets building code. The one on the left's leaking. This is the high end with a coil or with a hand nail in it, which is a better way of installing this product. And this is a high end ice and water shield one of the most expensive ones that has a uh, gun nail driven through it. So you could spend all the money you would want and you can see that those barbs that hang off of these coil nails will tear this ice and water shield open. Thanks Jeff. So in summary then Jeff, you're saying that the nail with the inexpensive uh, ice and water, the coil nail going through that inexpensive ice and water on the right, we saw that leak. On the very far left, we have an, a higher end ice and water product, but that also had the coil nail through it. That we saw leak. The only one that has not leaked, and actually if I can uh, get to the top there, you can see that the water that you placed on the top of that handheld nail with the high quality ice and water is still sitting there on the top and has not penetrated through the roof material. That's correct. Some contractors will tell you that this will seal around the nail when it gets warm, but I can tell you from experience that even on warm summer days it doesn't help the nail once it's ripped apart by these sharp barbs on this nail. You need to find yourself a contractor that's willing to take the time to hand nail in the crucial areas with a high-end ice and water shield and not use a high-end product and run around with the air gun and hope that it's not going to leak because we've proven right here that even the highest end ice and water shield with the wrong fastener is going to give you poor results. You need to take your time and hand nail those areas and protect yourself against ice dam leaks. Most contractors don't do that because of the expense, the added expense and time I would imagine um, that, you know, they, they probably don't want to present that option, but in the long run you're saying that that really is the only way to ensure your best chance of trying to keep water from entering the home from ice backing up or water backing up from an ice dam. Um, one other last point I wanted to ask you about is um, why is it only crucial to hand nail 
uh, you know, the ice and water product, why, why would it not be necessary to hand nail up the entire roof for the entire shingling process? Uh, basically, once you get past six feet of your roof edge, your, you change over to a felt paper, which is more like a, a, a moisture barrier to keep the hot and cold days and the condensation underneath the shingles from collecting on your roof plywood and causing delamination. These products are used for the crucial areas where the heat transfers from your upper floors into your roof rafters and then melt the snow on the deck. And this is just a 10 drops of water on these products. Could you imagine if you had an ice dam up there and you had literally gallons of water sitting waiting going through there and about a thousand nails with all the shingles that you have up there. This is just one nail and one example of how bad just this one nail leaks. Great. Thanks for the demonstration, Jeff.